Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek, and we've got another Wirecast tutorial for you. Wirecast tutorial number eight, game capture with the Haupag PVR. Now, uh, first of all, hey, uh, you know, my friend Bill, he emailed me and said, hey, I saw your video on the uh, bringing in the iPad using that program called Reflector, but, you know, I don't have, you know, I have a game system and I do a lot of the gaming. And uh, of course, you you can see him up on YouTube. Um, and uh, he goes, I use the Haupag PVR. Can I bring in the PVR into Wirecast? And the answer is kind of yes, kind of no. Uh, there's there's a lot of a uh, lot of different things out there. First of all, let's take a look at the Haupag PVR. Here it is, right here. We got a nice green look. At, this is the version one. Um, and uh, basically it's an HDMI. It's also got the AV in, so I can actually do a breakout cable like, uh, like, uh, an old, uh, uh, RCA cables. Um, it's got an HDMI in and an HDMI out. Now I was going to use my Xbox 360. I brought it in and I got it all hooked up, but then I realized I couldn't find any of my controllers. Tells you how much of a gamer I am. So, um, what I decided to do, I could have actually hooked up a regular camera to it, but what I decided to do was I grabbed my Amazon Fire TV, and I'm, I'm using the Amazon Fire TV because, of course, it's got games on it as well. So I'm going to use that to show you how to do this, uh, this gaming system. Now, a couple things before we start. The Haupag PVR goes through ArcSoft software called the Haupag Capture. Now, because of this, it brings like a one to two second delay. Um, it might be better if you have, if you're running at 720p as opposed to 1080p, 60 frames a second or whatnot. Um, this, uh, this system on the Amazon Fire it won't let me dumb down the video. So I'm running at 1080 uh, no matter what. And of course, maybe with the, the PS or the Xbox One or whatever, you'll be able to dumb down to the resolution and make it go a little bit faster, bring it into the computer a little bit better. But, you know, it's uh, I'm, I'm running my the, the laptop that I have it on has USB 3.0 ports, so it definitely can capture that uh, information, but it's just still a delay. In fact, when I hooked up the camera, I ran my fingers through it, and it took like a second before it showed up on the screen like that. So... You can't look at the screen when you're doing the gameplay. Luckily, with the Haupag PVR2, it's got what's called an HDMI pass-through port. So basically, the HDMI comes in, and I can plug into a TV so I can actually watch and play real-time. So that's not a big deal right there, but it's still an, you can't watch the computer screen. And when it comes over to Wirecast, there's even, a, there's even more of a delay because we're using the desktop presenter. There's a ever slight delay when it comes, and that's that's any case. Whether you're bringing in a Skype uh, video, whether you're bringing in a desktop player, whatever, it's going to be a delay because it's going through the network cables. Another way to do it, though, is if your computer's got an HDMI out, you, un you go with HDMI out to something like the Blackmagic, and then you bring that in through your MacBook or iMac or PC if it's got Thunderbolt on it. Um, and then and then bring it in and go from there. Wirecast has uh, has the older version of the Haupag PVR used to connect directly up to Wirecast and it still does. I got my old PVR around here somewhere, um, but of course it doesn't have HDMI to it, so I'd have to hook up regular RCA cables, and it does a great job on that for the PC. It doesn't do much for Mac because the the Haupag is not developed for the Mac. It's all for the PC. So I don't know why the PVR2 does not directly hook up and Wirecast to detect it. If there was a codec or, you know, somebody's got to pay some money or what, I don't know what happened there. But you can't hook up the PVR2 directly to Wirecast and pull that. Um, there might be some workaround, and if I do find out on how to do it, I'll let you guys know. I haven't heard or seen anything on that just yet. So, so basically, here's how it works. We've got uh, right now. I'll show you. There's uh, there's my second screen, my desktop presenter on my PC, and of course, we you can see the capture and you see the uh, the screen there, which just went to screensaver. We'll we'll bring it back here. 
And uh, there we are. We're, we're back at the main screen of the Amazon TV. So what I'm going to do is this. So uh, we're going to do exactly what we normally do. And that is, I'll, first of all, I'll bring up this desktop. We'll bring up the screen here. And uh, you, can, you can either crop out the area or you can just enlarge by using the command key and, and, uh, and mouse or the alt key if, you've, if you're using a Windows version of Wirecast. So basically now I'm just basically resizing this so it's going to fit into the screen. And of course on the Mac it's not the easiest thing in the world because the con because of the um the mouse i I'm, I'm not a big fan of how the mouse works in uh on a mac so but basically there we go we've got a nice resize on here so um now i need to make sure one more thing and that is uh i i already did this video once but i kept the desktop controller on or the the desktop uh um this thing in the desktop presenter and I had the capture audio um, up down here, capture audio. So basically uh, you couldn't hear me because the, the volume from the audio from the desktop presenter was so loud. So I, I and this time I'm just checking it. I'm unchecking it. And of course I, I set the window to the ArcSoft uh, software. Um, so it would uh, make uh, for better. So uh, trying to get a better uh, resize of the Fire TV. So so basically, yeah, I could I could go and I could watch TV or movies or something like that. You're not supposed to record movies. You're not supposed to record TV shows. That's all copyright infringement. If you do, we're not doing that. We're doing this for the games. So um, I got a couple games. But of course, with Amazon Fire TV, you get this game called Sev Zero, which is a basic uh, first person shooter game. So uh, I'm just going to use that as our. Our, uh, our our basic test here. So now I've got uh, Sev Zero up. It looks pretty good. I might have to do some resize on there. Let me let me do that really quick. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna bring this up and I'm gonna resize it so it will catch all the corners of the screen here. Bring it back. As you can see, there's probably a little bit extra there. Once again, I gotta deal with this mouse. Hold on. Here we go. And now I can bring it back. And so that's the basic idea. I'm doing a screen capture, bringing it into the computer and going from there. So I'm going to hit, watch this. I'm going to hit the A button, right? Three, two, one. And that's how long it really takes. So um, I'm going to say, okay, level one shadow station, uh, tower cost normal. And as you can see, I'm I'm just uh, I'm going through the settings here. I'll choose the machine gun, and then I'll go down to next, and uh, and then I'll just start the level here. And of course, it's loading and going from there. So now I can play the game. As you can see, I'm doing this, or or I can say, hey, if you want to be part of the action, well, that's for something else. But here's the uh, Wirecast Five tutorial right there. Um, I'll bring myself over here and, uh, we can skip this, but I'll, I'll bring the audio here. We've got audio. And of course I can bring the audio in through desktop presenter. Like I said, it just was way too loud. And of course there's copyright issues. I don't want to get into that too much. So we've got the map controllers, the action controllers. Um, and now we're in first wave here. They're, they're talking here and we're going to skip through all of that. And then we're going to come down into this area here and there's my person here and i'm going to move them to the right move them to the right a little bit more and move them forward as you know like i said i'm i'm about a second behind on this so i probably walking myself into walls definitely walking into walls but as you can see oops we'll get out here there we go I got something attacking me, I think. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some shooting, and uh, I just I don't know what happened there. I think I got killed or something like that. Something's shooting at me, so I'm gonna turn around a little bit, see what the heck is going on, and uh, go from there. So basically, that's it. That's it. I'll need a TV to do the pass through, so I can actually see what the heck is going on. 
But there, I've uh, I've just actually just played a game, and I've presented it and gone from there. So pretty straightforward on how to do that. In order to do that, you'll need more than one machine. You'll need one PC if you run Max to use the Halpog uh, PVR. Um, you can run pretty much like I said. You can put a camera on it. You can do Xbox. You can do uh, uh, PS uh, PS. You can do Amazon Fire TV. Um, you can walk through the levels on the game there. And I might just do that. I might uh, play a couple of games uh, and uh, how-tos and, and, and put them up on YouTube and go from there. So that's basically it. That's how to bring in your Howpog PVR into Wirecast, part of the tutorial series that I've been doing. If you've got a question and wanted to, to be part of the tutorial series, let me know. Email me, geekazine at gmail.com. Twitter handles Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in a geek and go from there. Remember the hashtag geek, geek Out. That's a great way to also get a hold of me. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. I just opened up my, my regular Facebook profile to accept friend requests um, for everybody. Now, I'm, I, before I was doing friends and family and stuff like that. So if you want to be my friend over at Facebook, you basically have to have a picture. You have to tell me who you are. Give me some content because if there's like two pictures and everything else is privatized, I, I might just say, no, I don't think so. But I'm going to try and open it up for friends and more to learn about who you are. And of course, uh, Google Plus is always open. Uh, Plus.google.com forward slash plus Jeffrey Powers and go from there. Thanks a lot. And of course, Facebook is also Jeffrey Powers, Facebook.com forward slash Jeffrey Powers. So thanks a lot for watching. This was how to bring in your uh, how Pog PVR into your Wirecast session. You guys geek out and we'll see you at the next one. So take care.